I, you know, um, I did I do research on a lot of the fighters, and I do extensive research. Like I am, I'm definitely up on it when it comes down to um, knowing who the fighters are before I fight them. And I know that Lito Lito is a little bit more explosive, a little bit scarier to fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I wouldn't say he's he's necessarily better technically but he's a little bit scarier to fight he's a little bit more of a risk to fight than joshua paseo in my opinion um josh josh is a champion he showed his his roots and uh the way he came up um he he was fighting lower lower class fighters in my opinion than what he is now um but yeah i mean the new wave of of straw weights are coming up we got bokan got Kuroba Minowa got me coming up. So um, we'll see how he fares against us. But yeah, Josh, Josh has done a good job being a champ for the past, you know, three, four years. But, but yeah, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that Lito is better, but he is he's a scarier fight. Um, you know, people people can watch me all they want and um, and have their their say on on how how they think I fight, but at the end of the day, they, they have to feel me, you know, they have to, they have to feel, literally feel me and see how, how one strong I am Two, my fight IQ is very, very high. I have, uh, I've studied the game since I was pretty much born. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that I'm, I'm the best in the division. And the, and the reason why is because of those two, I'm, I'm super strong. If, if I get a hold of you, I feel like I'm, I'm 200 pounds on top of you. And any opponent that goes against me will attest to that. Um, and besides that, yeah, my, my fight IQ is, is very high. Uh, anytime that I feel like a, a situation is coming up that, you know, could put me in a bad situation, I'm not, I'm not about that. I'm not going to get into really any bad situations that fighters, they, they try to plant me with. So um, at the end of the day, yeah, my fight IQ and strength. I mean, he just fought Hexi, Hexi Geto, Um I think that's how you say his name, Hexi Geto. Uh He just fought him like last month. So um, I think he's going to try to approach the fight like the same way as he is Hexi Geto. Hexi Geto is like 37 years old. Um, he's he's a little older and he's a little bit more like, you know, jittery and, and a little bit more... Um, yeah, he doesn't really throw punches or anything. He doesn't set up the shots. He didn't do a lot of things that that I would do, as as far as uh, trying to defeat Lito. But um, Lito Lito's probably going to come in and he's going to try his regular striking style, just crazy. He's going to you know just do that swinging stuff into uppercuts, and uh, he's going to wait for me to shoot. He's going to try to fly me. Um, if I do get into a shot, he's going to try to elbow me, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I see at Alito. Um, he might try a Kimura or two if I get him on the ground. He's good at Kimuras. But, yeah, I, I'm not crazy, like, worried about Lito. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely aware of his strengths and abilities. I've been to, to Japan plenty of times. I've had to adjust and, you know, fluctuate. You know, at first it was a little bit hard. It's going to be here on the 24th. Um, but, you know, it, as soon as you get past that that little mind state that you have, like, oh, man, I got to do this. I got to do this. And, you know, screw that. You're here to fight. You're a fighter. And, yeah, I'm I'm in a good mind state right now. And I feel like um, I feel like it's one of the best mind states I've been in before I fight. So you know, I was supposed to fight Hiroba Minowa on November 12th, but he, um, he's backed out twice. So I don't know if he doesn't want to fight or doesn't want anything to do with me, but yeah, he, um, I mean, he's a tough fighter. He'd be Lito, but, um, I think he sees that, that there's a little difference in the way that Lito and I fight and it, it might be that, or he just could be getting hurt. And me. He says that he's 5'1", but the dude's like 4'11". And, uh, yeah, that, that's all I really see in the division as far as that. I feel like it might be all downhill after this. Yeah, 100%. Um, I've watched that fight like 100 times. I've seen like um, 
you know, I've seen Leto grow a little bit after those, but uh, after that fight. But yeah, um, Hiroba controlled him the whole time, literally the whole time, besides that Kimura. Um, I don't know how it was a split decision. I mean, those, uh, yeah, it, it kind of was a near finish. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, the judge <laughs> who said that, who gave it to Lido, man, he doesn't need a judge anymore. Um, I don't think Hiroba was tapping at all. I, I, you know, Lito is, is kind of a sore loser for that because um, Hiroba wasn't tapping. As you can see, he was, he was mostly trying to feel around for the arm so he can actually try to get out of the position. Like, like he was like this, he was just trying to feel, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't tapping, you know, there's a difference between I'm hurt, I'm hurt. And, you know, I'm up, I'm trying to do something to try to figure out where the hands are, you know, but um, yeah, Hiroba controlled the match completely. And uh, it was a Hiroba Minowa win for sure. I mean, <laughs> Bokong Masanyane is in South Africa right now. It's gonna be really hard for him to, to come over here to fight. Um, and they're, they're pretty much putting him as the number one contender, which is crazy to me. Uh, he hasn't fought enough good people to do that. Uh, I have literally fought across the country and I mean, he's fought in Pancrase and stuff like that too. Don't get me wrong. And, and, but he hasn't fought in the organizations that I have. And I've, I've traveled to Chechnya. I've traveled to like, I've traveled to Singapore, traveled to Japan. I've traveled to Brazil. I've traveled literally all across the world and I've, I've faced some of the best of the best in the world. And that's the reason why one brought me in here. And um, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I deserve a title shot, but yeah, I, I would like to, to beat a couple more people in this promotion to get to where I need to be um, and fight Posse out or whoever beats Posse out first. But yeah, um, I would like to be the first person to be Pasia, but I don't know if it's going to be me because um, who knows? Who knows? It's all up to one. I mean, hopefully I'm going to try to put, put the best portion of me in there uh, tomorrow night. Um, whatever, whatever Leto brings towards me, I'm going to shuck it off like it's a street fight. And if he's trying to bring his, his punches towards me, I'm going to treat him like they're knives. So um, I'm going to be ducking, dodging, dipping, diving, and dodging, uh, just like the dodgeball rules. Um, he's, yeah, he's going to try to take my head off. Yeah, this guy is a, is, is a killer. Don't get me wrong. But he's going against a very, very intelligent fighter and a very strong fighter. And if he thinks that I'm going to be like Hexigetu or even like Roba, then he's definitely mistaken. And I'm definitely ready to go out there and, and show the people and um, – and all of Malaysia that uh, there, there is a new guy in town and I am, I'm ready to be a uh, Lito a little bit better than um, Hiroba Minowa or the other people that have beaten him. I'm a smart winner. Let's just say that I like to win. I'm, <laughs> you know, if, um, if people, if the people that know MMA and have studied MMA and um, know the game really well, then yeah, they'll be huge fans of me. But um, the, the casuals, the people that just like to, you know, come out and, and watch a, a crazy slugfest, like, you know, we're going to go punch for punch and, you know, stuff like that. I'm not that type of fighter. So if you're looking for that punch for punch kind of fight, that ain't me. But if the punch and the opportunity comes to where, it, you know, um, it's my time to do it and not get hit, then, yeah, I'm, I'm that kind of fighter as well. But um, yeah, you'll, you'll, they call me the monkey god for a reason, though. Um, I'm, I'm super strong. When I get on top of you, it's going to be a, a, a different kind of story than what you've seen with the other straw weights. Uh, I will make your best straw weight look like, a, look like a little girl when I'm on top of them or when I'm uh, on their back as well. So um, if I get your back, it's, it's, a, it's pretty much a wrap. Or I'll get your back for three rounds. <laughs> Oh, if he hits me, he hits me. I'm a fighter. I got to be durable. I mean, I got a chin. You can see it's pretty big. Um, yeah, I think that um, I, I fought people like Davis and Figueredo. <laughs> that guy is like literally the, the knockout king at 125. And he's hit me plenty of times. But um, actually, he barely hit me in the fight. But when I did get hit, I, I took it like a champ. And um, yeah. 
I, I think that I can take Lido's best shots and and Lido hasn't really been been tested with a bunch of punches either and I really really hope that he does think that I'm just going in there and trying to wrestle him and trying to get him to the ground because I'm gonna mix it up in there if if he thinks that I'm gonna take him down I'm gonna punch him and when he when I when he thinks I'm gonna punch him I'm gonna take him down that's how my game goes google the thunder kid and it's like a weird duck thing I don't even know what that is but <laughs> google it google the thunder kid and go to images it's like a weird duck thing um yeah i mean he's he's uh definitely definitely a great fighter but he's going against somebody that is well attested and well skilled and been there and done that so if um if he thinks that i'm gonna be uh an easy match then he's definitely wrong i don't think that lito is gonna be necessarily an easy match as well i'm ready for war i'm ready for whatever he wants to bring towards me but um uh, the reason why they call me the monkey god back to the question is i am literally the monkey god i will get on top of you and squeeze you i'm i am literally encompassing the the monkey god hanuman I, I want to be the, the god of strength, the god of wind. You can't beat me because I'm, I'm here and there at the same time. And um, yeah, if I get, like I said, if I get behind you, it's done. It's over with. I would say if I see it, if I see it like how I want it to go, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him on the ground, get his back, and choke him the fuck out. Thanks, Jared. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, for still doing the interview. We know that you are still tired and still coping up with the Asia timings plus a lot of 